Ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Red Flix and I am flexing. As you can see from my attire, I am wearing something that none of you can't have. Unfortunately, flexing is one of my coping mechanisms to get over the frustration of finding out that a Genshin Impact cosplayer has been kicked out of a mall, which is completely unjustified and disgusting. If you haven't been keeping up with recent news, a Genshin Impact cosplayer has been kicked out of a mall, not for being a Genshin fan and being a creep, but for cosplaying in general. This entire drama started when content creator slash streamer slash tiktoker slash cosplayer Hakao san got mixed up with a little bit of drama and controversy, which is about SM Supermalls. If you don't know what SM Supermalls is, it is a mall or pretty much one of the most famous malls in the Philippines, and they have made an oopsie. So pretty much what happened is everything started on this one TikTok. Now, if you can see with the TikTok, it has the caption, you can do everything, or you are welcome to cosplay in this mall. And unfortunately, that fact has been disputed hard by one of the cosplayers who went to that mall and got kicked out. They won't let us pass the department store because we're in cosplay. They won't allow us to. Because the supervisor doesn't want cosplayers passing here for literally no reason. They're not giving us a straight answer. SM South Mall, what is this? We don't understand. What is wrong with cosplayers passing the department store? We're not going to touch anything. We're not going to hurt anyone. We're literally just going to walk. You see, the problem is it's going to be a really, really long walk. And we passed here earlier. We're taking pictures is the point. Kind of sinabi nyo na ako nabawa yung picture. Then we can just move on and just walk. It's so simple. We're not stupid. And one of the things that you can pinpoint in this scene or this video is the fact that they are they, like they are they are technically armed like they have a giant sword and you know that might be the reason why they were getting blocked the reason why this flunked so much is because of the fact that sm super Malls made that tiktok they made a tiktok endorsing a cosplayer which is someone that is known to do these kind of things and that makes it or that pretty much shows that SM Super Mall is aware that cosplaying exists. Like, these people actually bring props. Like, these are props and they're not actually going to destroy the freaking mall. Like, oh my god, she has a giant sword, call the helicopter unit, she's going to mow down the entire area. Like, they are aware that these are just props and these are just cosplayers. That they are not actually mythical beings capable of destroying the universe in one snap. So, yeah, I think it really just boils down to failure in, like, disseminating information. Like, I feel like they just didn't know better and again the guards here probably did not know better so they're not really the one at blame here but rather the lack of information being given to them okay so here is the post regarding the summary of whatever happened you can just pause the video just to make a note we cosplayers are allowed anywhere in sm said by the management itself when I was talking to them during that time when they invited me for coffee. When they invited me for coffee, we talked about some common concerns regarding the cosplay community. One of those being us being kicked out from stores, depth store, bathroom, and even the food court. Other than that, I also raised the concern regarding um, their management not being aware regarding the ticket selling where they have staff that would sell more than two tickets although it has been mentioned that they will only be selling two tickets per person and if you have noticed from my post um one of the managers have uh, suggested this plan where we cosplayers will be given like this membership card where we will be registering Although this will not be like SNR where we are not allowed to enter without the card whatsoever because we still are with the card or not. It's just that it's more of like an added bonus for us cosplayers also as an apology for mistreating us and making us not feel so welcomed. As mentioned by one of the managers, uh, they said that it will include like added discounts 
and I suggested that they should also include like this priority lane thing or a priority thing for us cosplayers to you know get purchase some tickets although the way how we register is not yet final this whole idea isn't final yet I'm still trying to push for it um, yeah that's just the whole summary this video is something that comes straight out of Spider-Man 2 in that train scene where people just worships this person. Careful, she's a hero. And this person definitely did become a hero by pretty much, you know, pushing her own agenda for cosplayers and all that crap. However, I do have some points. The idea of cosplayers getting a membership card or some sort of that shit, like their like senior citizen card and, you know, getting discounts and all that crap kind of sounds a little bit of a stretch in my opinion. And, you know, they even she even talked about having like a different lane or a specified lane for cosplayers. And honestly, I think that part there is kind of much a drag. It's kind of like a drag because, you know, the only persons who get like a special lane are either person with disabilities or elderly or pregnant women. I mean, sure, if you're cosplaying as a Genshin Impact character, you can count as PWD because every Genshin fan is mentally disabled. Like none of them has brain functions like a normal human being. Speaking of mental disabilities, let's talk about Philippines. Filipinos lack for reading comprehension and now it's become a personal disable for like Filipinos in general. I feel like if you're a Filipino, your reading comprehension just drops by about 50%. That's pretty much how Hakao-san got involved with this fiasco and how she got involved despite not doing anything. Basically, she's the one that did the whole dance thing. She just did an endorsement with SM. She's not the one at fault. She's not like the puppeteer of SM. Like she's controlling the string saying that I am the only cosplayer that should exist here me me alone all of you cosplayers just fuck off it's really not her fault so don't blame her please for the love of god it's sm sm please for fuck's sakes no what they're literally doing is discrimination it's not just because of looks i'm not attacking hakao or anything so shut the fuck up the fuck it's similar to Genshin Impact harassing voice actors for like decisions that voice actors are not responsible for and I think it's really common with Genshin fans or at this point, the only thing that's worse than a Genshin fan is a Filipino Genshin fan because at least a Genshin fan, they're stupid, but they still have reading comprehension. But a Filipino Genshin fan, the reading comprehension drops to zero. So yeah, that's been this issue. Hopefully it's been wrapped up now and hopefully there are no cosplayers getting kicked out of malls. Speaking of cosplays, I will be attending Cosplay Mania this year, which is going to be about October 1 and 2. And I want you guys to give me like 10 things or 10 challenges you think that I should do in the event. I'm new to conventions. I don't know how to speak to people except for that one time I did a, like a... Like a Genshin cosplay hunt, but I'm, I want to do something more and I want you guys to like give me a list of challenges you think that's going to make the video fun. Yes, I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing and I don't want you guys to leave like fucking weird ass comments saying that, oh, you should leak their feet. I'm talking about challenges. I'm talking about shit that are lit. So yeah, I'm going to be going to Cosplay Mania. And for people that are subscribers of this channel that are also going there, I would like to meet you. I'll be cosplaying as I don't fucking know. But if you're going there, I will hope to see you. And I also hope to see all the cosplayers that will be going there. So, I'll see you in the next episode.